Hey y'all, welcome to this episode of Vern's Misadventures. Uh, so there I was. I was going to make a cool video on Sin OS 8 here. And I was going to use OBS to record it. And lo and behold, here we are. Nothing but a black screen. Can't really do much with that when you can't record anything. Let me show you how I fixed it. Alright y'all, so now as you can see, mine now works, and I'm going to show you real quickly how I fixed it. I had a couple ideas how I could record this. One was to use the video camera, and you know how it is when you try to record a screen with a video camera. <laughs> yeah, it's either out of focus, or it's not uh, clear enough with the lettering and all this to where you can actually read anything. It, it's just a hassle, so I'm just going to show you what I did, and I think that'll make a better video. Here, let's, let's proceed. I'm going to include the link to this article. It's on superuser.com. And this basically is the solution I found after several different things I tried, including reinstalling OBS, <laughs> installing it with a snap package to make sure I got everything I'd ever need, and blah, 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 and it just came up the same. So this person here had the same problem. They're using uh, AMD video cards. And uh, they said there was some advice on the internet how to solve the problem with the NVIDIA control panel. Of course, if you're using uh, Radeon graphics, you're not going to have the NVIDIA panel. But, point being, the workaround that this person said they found was to disable Wayland. And in order to do that, all you got to do, you're just going to force it to use the old X screen, which uh, worked fine. Before I don't, I don't know. I've had issues with uh, Wayland and OBS before, so this is a, this is a perfect fix as far as I'm concerned. So what you'll do is you'll open in a text editor, which we'll use Nano in the terminal. So we're going to copy this line right here, and we're going to make sure we get the first slash all the way to the F in config, and we're going to copy. All right, and we'll minimize. Then we'll open a terminal. We'll make this larger so we can all see. Then we will type sudo nano. And then we will paste. And that's going to go into Etsy, GDM, custom config. We'll enter. We'll rattle off our password. All right. So you'll notice in mine, it's already uncommented. But the way you'll find yours is just like this. Okay? And if you read the instructions right above there, it says, uncomment the line below to force the login screen to use xorg. So that's all you gotta do. And of course, I, I, you know, if you're unfamiliar with Nano, then all you gotta do, use your arrow keys on your keyboard, arrow on down, and you can either use the delete when you're blinking on top of the hash mark, the comment sign right uh, another way it could be done is by actually arrowing over to the W and then just using the backspace now I found out the hard way that if you should accidentally make a mistake and delete more than just the uh, comment sign and maybe you delete the W and you say well that should say Waylon so you put your W back on there right but you use a lowercase it's not gonna work it has to start with a capital W. So uh, I learned that the hard way, and now hopefully you can benefit from that experience. So anyway, once you've gotten rid of your hash mark, and you have everything there that's supposed to be there, you do control O to write that out. And down there at the bottom, with the white background there, where you can see the cursor blinking, you'll just simply press Enter to confirm that that's what you want to do, file to write. And then Control X will close your text editor. That's it. All you have to do now is reboot the computer. So you could do that by typing sudo reboot. Or, of course, 
you could do that the graphical way by simply clicking on the power button up there in the corner going over here and click and restart once you reboot you will find that your OBS works just like mine does I'd like to ask you if you found some value in what I've shown you here today uh, maybe you could consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell so you can be notified when I post new videos with that I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. So y'all take care.